arrange the single covalent bonds within each set in order of increasing polarity. In order for us to do that, we need to have electronegativity values, which are provided in the chart I am showing you here. And these tell us how electronegative an element is. So the more electronegative something is, the more strongly it will pull on the electrons in a covalent bond. In order for us to figure out how polar bond is, we have to subtract electronegativity of one atom from another to find electronegativity difference. What is the difference between electronegativities of the two atoms that are covalently bonded? The higher the electronegativity difference is, the more polar our bond will be. So let's go ahead and do this. I already looked at electronegativity values. So for example, for CH, carbon has an electronegativity value of 2.3 and hydrogen is 2.1. And then I subtracted the smaller number from the bigger so my electronegativity difference here is 0.4, for OH it's 1.4, and for NH it's 0.9. Now all we have to do is to compare our electronegativity difference values. The higher the electronegativity difference is, the more polar my covalent bond is. So that means OH will be the most polar bonds because it has the highest electronegativity difference value. And this is going to be followed by NH, which is 0.9. And the smallest, least polar will be CH. Let's go ahead and look at part B again here. I already figured out the electronegativity difference values. This was 0.4. This was 1.4, and for BH, boron was 2.0 and hydrogen 2.1, so their electronegativity difference is 0.1. Who has the highest electronegativity difference? OH, which means that it's going to have the most polar bond. Next is CH, and the least polar will be BH. This is Maya Alochi from Transformation Tutoring and I really hope that you enjoyed this chemistry video.